Hi guys, welcome to a new video on fake and real just for you. Today I'm going to talk about how to eat sushi the traditional way. Now, the most traditional way is by hand, and this is how they do it. You can eat with chopsticks, don't worry about that, but I'm just here telling you how to eat it the traditional way. Now let's start with nigiri. You start by turning the nigiri on its left side. Once you've done that, you use your thumb, your index finger, and your middle finger to pick up the nigiri. Then turn the nigiri upside down so the fish is pointing down and the rice is pointing up. Now you can start dipping it in your soy sauce. Now the best way to do it is in one motion. Don't dip it back and forth. Just dip once and turn clockwise. Eat the nigiri in one bite and that is how you eat nigiri. Now this is the same method if you're using chopsticks. Just flip it on its left side. Grab it with the chopsticks. Turn your chopsticks so the nigiri is upside down. And then do the motion while dipping clockwise rotation and eat your nigiri in one bite. Now if you're having sushi rolls, again, you use your thumb, your index finger, and your middle finger. Pick up the sushi roll, dip it very gently and very lightly in the soy sauce and eat it in one bite. If you're switching from sushi to tuna or other sushi types, it's recommended to eat a little ginger to cleanse the palate. If you want some extra wasabi, don't mix it with soy sauce. That is something you do not do. Take a little bit with your finger or with your chopsticks. Put it on top your sushi or nigiri and that's it. Don't smear it on there. Remember, in traditional restaurants, almost every sushi roll and nigiri has a small amount of wasabi in them. So it's not necessary to put extra. But if you're a wasabi lover, it's all yours. So next time when you go to a sushi restaurant, remember these tips. Thanks again for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to share and I'll see you guys next time.